Brian's music. Let's go in and see it. Downtown here now on Water Street. How are you, bye? Hello, Don. How are you? Good. How's it going? <laughs> good to see you. Looking good in here. <laughs> Well, thank you, thank you. Surprise. Yes, yes. Do you mind me doing a video? Not at all. You, okay. know, you know your way around. Yeah. What's down there? That's the new uh, music room all the way down the back. David put in. That's the David Rowe music room. Oh, cool. Yeah. Let me, let me Down and have a look. Yeah. How you guys doing? Grand. How you doing, Doug? Doing good, man. Hi. Uh, <laughs> checking it out. Oh, wow. Jeez, this looks great. Yeah, it's a little bit tucked away in here. You can come in and privately have a tune or bring a group and have a big sing along. It all works. Wow. It sounds pretty good in there, you know. Yeah, it's nice uh, acoustics in here, isn't it? Well, the, uh, yes, it is. Out there was the old part of the store. Yeah. And then the mid range here, that's myself and my brother started open that up. And now this is David's section, so you're getting newer as you come back. Yeah. So by the time you go out the back door, it's all brand new out there. Cool. <laughs> so this, this is good because it's kind of. Secluded if you want to come and uh, just try out a guitar. Or That's right. You, you want to be tuck yourself away rather than being out in the public. Some people are shy. Some just want to have their own little bit of quiet space to try out an instrument. Yeah. So and so what place. year did this open? I'm sorry? What year did this store open? Dad started in 1939. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, he, was, uh, he was second generation. His aunt Ivetta O'Brien was here before him back in the 1920s or late teens. So the, David now is the fourth generation O'Brien there. So J D David took it over. David took over O'Brien's music store, yeah. Yeah. And did you, because we remember the whole thing that you closed down and everyone was like really sad because it was like a landmark, the first music store and stuff like that. So did you ever think that you'd be here and it would be open? No, I, I, I hope so, but that something would happen because I found it so sad, you know, uh, for, for both uh, Gord losing it and, and then as a, as a family, uh, you know, uh, uh, business ongoing. So yes, I'm totally ecstatic about it open. I'm delighted to be part of helping get it reopened again. And, and uh, I'm delighted that the city seems to be so appreciative. It's very heartwarming. Yeah, yeah. Very really heartwarming. nice, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of people coming in and, and strangers and friends. Yeah. It doesn't matter. They're all, they're all shaking our hands and telling us how happy to see it open again. So, yeah. so it's a, it, it was a roundabout story, but it's ending, ending happy, we hope. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And you, uh, you built this room yourself? Yes, I'm a carpenter and now and uh, uh, we thought that we'd make something uh, a little bit quaint and uh, still look the part. Yeah. So I hope we've succeeded in uh, getting, getting that feel to it. I, I like to think it is. So you just went to carpeting school just a little while ago, did you? Yeah, I just graduated last <laughs> year. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. I went back and did the whole apprenticeship program. <laughs> cool. Great bit of fun. One of those things on my bucket list. Yeah, well, man, I'm so happy it's still open. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's great to see some familiar faces oh, like yourself, too, Dan. I will say it's excellent. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. yeah. So David is taking it over. David is the new owner. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. My sister, Dorothy. Don't know how it works. <laughs> how are you guys? <laughs> what, do you, what do you think of it opened again? Oh, well, what nobody realized is when it closed, it was also our family home. That went with it. So we were all very upset. Oh, so now you got your home back. In That's your right. There's one of the grandchildren <laughs> and the grandchild that owns it. So, yeah. there's the history. That's story. right. Yeah. It's a sin. Yeah, it was a sin. Yeah, that's right. yeah. So this is like one, two, three generations. Right. Yes. Yeah, so you're yeah. the third generation owner. Yeah. Uh, third generation yeah. in the music store, fourth generation of O'Brien's in business in the building. Right. That's right. Yeah. I so was now you explained that this morning to Walter. So yeah. now you got to have kids to get. That's right. I got to make. I got to make the fifth generation. Oh, yeah. David. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm pretty sure I need a date first. So. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's the end. See, there were two of them. Okay. Two sisters. Long before it was good for women to have businesses, they had a hotel, and they were seamstresses. Cool. As well, so. And uh, the. They were the the original owners of this building. Okay, cool. There you go. And what what do you have to say about uh, getting the store open and taking it on to your? To the uh, I. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> well, it's been an eye-opening experience so far. <laughs> it's been really busy. I, it's the first time in my life I've worked seven days a week for a long stretch of time. But uh, it's been great. It's still fun and very satisfying. And the response has been very positive. Yeah, that's sweet. Well, nice to have you guys back. <laughs> nice yeah. to Take care. Nice to meet you all. Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 So come to uh, O'Brien's Music Store. It's a landmark in St. John's. So glad it's still here.